Hey! Any fish? It's the 27th of March, 2018. And I gotta tell you, just another headline, but this is a humdinger. It, it, takes, a, it takes quite a bit to get me riled, you know? But this one is just... Well, let me show you. I'll try anyway, you know? And, uh, you know, the first thing I see is it posted at exactly 1.30 a.m. And I see the 13... Which, if I showed you all the instances of where I see 13, I, I could make, I could just go a live stream all day. The guy's 49 years old, another 13, right? So I'm, I'm thinking, uh-oh, this is going to be one of those articles, right? The reason I click the articles, cause, just because of the 23. And, you know, when I refer to the 23, that's, you know, my spiritual understanding and what it represents is the 23 chromosomes essentially the 23 are those in the world but are not of the world that are set apart that are saved that are washed in the blood that are awaiting his coming that's the 23 separate from the 46 the 46 just means the you know iron and miry clay you know the yin yang it's the good and the evil that are still you know at enmity you know there's, it's they're in the world, right? That's what the 23 represents, okay? Now, this guy, Nevis Coleman, was wrongfully jailed for 23 years. He gets his old job back with White Sox. And I read it, and, and it, just, it just comes upon me. I, I can't explain it. Nevis Coleman, right? You know how most people are very familiar when... And I'm going to explain something about the gematria here, too. When you put Jesus on the, in the cross into Gematria or Jesus in the gospel into Gematria in the English, that's what most people refer to it as English. It's called other things, but what it is, is the number of the man, the six count. This is what, when I'm led to use these things, this is generally what I use, is what I'm led to use because it was shown to me that this method is actually biblical to my understanding and we find it in revelation 13 verse 18 here is wisdom let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast so we want to count the number of the beast for it is a number of a man and his number is 603 score and six it is a number of a man which is six six is the number of a man and his number is 603 score and six so we count in the number of a man, in six. Do you follow me? So A is six. B is 12. C is 18. D, you understand? That's how it works. And that's the only time that it really, you know, I understand it in my spirit that it's like I'm, I'm being shown, you know, the truth. This isn't like evil ones trying to, to snare me. So that being said, we know that Jesus and, you know, the 444, the 888, well, you just, you'll never, you won't find this on the greenest mountain, man. Nevis Coleman, 888, right? Okay, so that in and of itself is just mind-blowing because, like I said, when I read this article, I knew something was going on, right? So now we got Jesus on the cross wrongfully jailed for us for the 23 now you just gotta you just gotta watch this you just do jailed wrongfully jailed well jailed in the same language here is two four six well wasn't he denied he was denied two four six wrongfully denied for us, I'm I'm just like getting little jitters in my spirit just reading this. He's at the door, folks. You get this. Now it don't end there. Years gets his old job back. So in other words, there's about to be a jailbreak. The 23 will be free. Okay, hear me out. He gets his old job back with white socks. You understand what I'm saying? White socks. He gets his old job back. The 23. You understand so far? Well, let's take 
white socks and see what we get. We get 738, and I'm told, look it up. Look up the Greek. Look it up. So I look it up. 738. Check this out. Just born. A young convert. Newborn. You can't make this up. And look what it's from. <laughs> now, this day, hour, henceforth, here, after, hither, now, even now. <laughs> right? So, <laughs> Jesus Christ wrongfully denied for us. And we, getting jailed, freed from exile, we are, we've been redeemed. We get our old jobs back. We're reborn and get our white socks. <laughs> I'm sorry, man. This is unusual for me, but I had to share that with you. That is straight up from not me. Let's put it that way. Praise God. All right. So if you don't know Jesus, I'm just telling you this message is telling me he's at the door. He was wrongfully murdered, essentially, for us. And all we need to do is recognize that we are basically steeped in sin. We are sinners. And when people say that, you just go, I'm not a sinner. Well, so I thought that too. But all you got to really do is think about it and have a love for the truth. If you really do want to know the truth, then you'll see that you're a sinner in your, uh, your search. Trust me, you'll see it. Gets his old job back with the White Sox. Born again. You can't, you just, in a bazillion, kajillion years, you can't make this stuff up. That's a gift for us, you guys. That's what that is. That's a gift. 100%. Seek Jesus, people. Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 